Alexander was diagnosed with polio he was just eight years of age and his whole body was paralyzed below the neck and the survival of Paul came at a heavy cost as for his survival he needed a mechanical ventilator. Mechanical ventilator also referred as the iron lung is a kind of negative pressure ventilator that helps people with respiratory paralysis breathe is called an iron lung. It functions by encircling the chest in a vacuum, which causes it to expand and draws air into the lungs. When an individual's own muscles are no longer able to efficiently support their breathing, artificial ventilation enables people like Paul Alexander to continue breathing. Despite this severe trauma Paul Alexander did not lose hope Alexander was a motivated man with a deep belief in God. Even such a heavy trauma could not stop him from moving as he graduated from the University of Texas with a bachelor's degree in economics in 1978 and a law degree in 1984. And he was also an ambassador of polio awareness. As of the latest news Paul Alexander has passed away at the age of 78 after surviving in an iron lung for about 70 years which also makes him the person to survive in an iron lung for the longest period of time with this the inspiring the inspiring tale of Paul Alexander comes to an end. Coming in at number 4 spot of our list we have Oscar Pistorius whose story is quite unique and has a strange twist. On November 22, 1986, Oscar Pistorius was born in Johannesburg, South Africa. Pistorius was identified as having fibular hemimelia at birth. Consequently, Pistorius's lower limbs did not develop normally, and at the age of 11 months, it was decided to amputate both of his legs below the knee. Pistorius was motivated to lead an active life despite his disabilities. As a child, he played a variety of sports, such as tennis, rugby, and water polo. He was playing rugby when he injured his knee at the age of 17, which made him concentrate more on track and field sports. When Pistorius realized he had a knack for sprinting, he started taking his training seriously. He participated in a number of Paralympic competitions and became well-known as a top athlete very soon. With the use of carbon fiber prosthetic blades, sometimes known as cheetah legs or blades, Pistorius was able to run competitively against competitors with more muscular bodies. Throughout his several Paralympic Games participations, Pistorius broke multiple world records and won multiple gold medals. He was an expert in sprint competitions, such as the 100, 200, and 400 meters, in addition to relay races. Many people considered Pistorius to be one of the best Paralympic athletes of all time. Pistorius created history in 2012 by being the first sprinter with two amputees to compete in the Olympics. Pistorius's accomplishments dispelled stereotypes about people with disabilities in athletics and motivated a great number of people worldwide. Despite having despite having all these achievements and a huge impact on the world. When Oscar Pistorius shot and killed his girlfriend Riva Steenkamp in 2013 at his Pretoria, South Africa, home, his life tragically changed. Pistorius stated that he shot her through a bathroom door out of self-defense after mistaking her for an intruder. After being found guilty of culpable homicide at first, he was convicted of murder in 2015 following the well-reported trial. Global discussions regarding gun control, domestic abuse, and victim justice were spurred by Pistorius's case. Oscar Pistorius remained quiet after being released from prison in 2015 while under home arrest. Following an appeal by the prosecution, his sentence was extended to 13 years and 5 months in 2017. He has remained private ever then and there haven't been many updates about his life. This was all from Pistorius whose life was definitely a roller coaster. The last pick of our list is an embodiment of courage and self-belief. The last but not the least we have Kyle Maynard was born in Augusta, Georgia, on March 24, 1986, with congenital amputation, a rare ailment that left him without legs below the knees and arms below the elbows. Maynard overcame these obstacles to become a highly successful author, motivational speaker, and athlete. Despite being born without arms below his elbows and legs below his knees due to congenital amputation, Kyle Maynard is an incredible person who has accomplished incredible accomplishments. He was well liked as a wrestler, winning high school state titles and going on to compete at the collegiate level. In addition, Maynard created history by being the first quadruple amputee to climb Mount Kilimanjaro without the use of prosthetic limbs. He has achieved success as a mixed martial artist, motivational speaker, and author. He started his own fitness business and wrote two best-selling books, one of which was named No Excuses, the true story of a congenital amputee who became a champion in wrestling and in life. He is a successful businessman. Maynard is also in high demand as a motivational speaker, having given motivational speeches to audiences all around the world. 
His influence goes beyond athletics since he is still a strong supporter of disability rights and a source of motivation for others to dream big and conquer adversity. This was all from our list of these amazing people and their stories that are motivating in a unique way, if you. Thanks for watching. Keep in mind to subscribe, like, and share. More stuff can be found by leaving comments below. Continue to be motivated and persevere. Have a look at the upcoming video.